Okay, hello, welcome. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do Dijkstra's algorithm in Python. Now, I'm not going to be dealing too much with like the theory or abstract today. I will be touching on it a bit, but uh, mostly it's just going to be the code in Python. So, uh, to start, I do have a little graph that I'm going to show you. Uh, a couple things about it. Um, they're all non-negative numbers. They don't have to be uh, whole numbers, they can be fractions or decimals, but uh, the algorithm won't work if even a single one is negative. So uh, this is a directed graph. So A goes to B, but that doesn't mean B can go to A. Uh, you can see from the arrows, that's what that means. Uh, there are cycles, so loops, you have that. Uh, again, uh, they can't be negative or else the danger is you know, it just keeps looping and looping, and then uh, the shortest pass will be like negative infinity, and that does not work in computers. So, okay, so here's the the code. Uh, I already made the graph. I already converted it into uh, code. So, as you can see, um, the vertex A is connected to B with weight 10, and it's also connected to C with weight 3. So, A to B, weight 10. A to C, weight 3, and, and so on. So hopefully that's something I understand. Uh, and I got a function here, takes in a graph, start node, and a goal node. Uh, today I'm going to do A to D. Okay, let's start off. I already got some empty dictionaries I made. So the shortest distance, um, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be constantly updated as it goes along. And we're going to set it at a, a key, will be like the node and the value will be the shortest distance so it might be like six or something or, or whatever uh, the predecessor uh, we're going to use that to find our shortest path so uh, when we uh, update it we're also going to include where uh, that path came from and so uh, the shortest path from a to c is a to c at c we'll have the predecessor be a okay uh, our unseen nodes we're just going to set this equal to the graph, all of them, and what we're going to do is uh, run through it all until they've all been seen. So it's an iterative algorithm, so uh, you have to check every single node. That's important. Uh, infinity, uh, I don't know, you just have to choose a big number. It has to be bigger than all your other ones. That's kind of important, but just put a bunch of nines. And the path, uh, that's just going to be to show at the end. Uh, yeah, pretty simple. Okay, let's start off. Uh, we have to set all our final distances to be infinity, except the start where we have to set it to zero. So uh, for node in, let's just do unseen node, look at the same thing. Uh, shortest distance at the node will be equal to infinity and then the shortest distance at the start will be equal to zero. So I'll just print this out and run it. So that's basically that and that's where we are now. So uh, this should be pretty easy. Let's delete that. Okay, so let's start the actual algorithm. So while unseen nodes, this is just a, a, a loop. So it's going to keep running till there's nothing in unseen nodes. So um, if you're following along from a different language, um, just go on Stack Overflow and check how to check if a dictionary is empty. But in Python, you just have to write all that and it'll turn true. So. Uh, okay, so first things first, uh, this is a greedy algorithm. So when we choose our node that we're going to select, we have to make sure that it has the lowest distance of all of them. So we'll just do a quick uh, check for this. So for node in C nodes, we're going to go through all of them and just check to find the lowest one. Uh, first, we got to do the base case. So if min node is none uh, min node min node equals
equals the node. So this is just for the first case because we have to set it for empty each time. But here's the big one. Else if if shortest distance at node is less than shortest distance at the min node. Now we can uh, uh, switch the node. So min node will equal the node we're using. So going through all of them, just finding the one with the shortest distance. So this is in red. So when we run it the first time, uh, it's going to come out as A. Okay. Okay, so uh, this next part is like the main part of the Dijkstra algorithm. Uh, this is what makes it work. So uh, pay attention to this part, I guess. So uh, now that we have our focus node, we have to check in all of its child nodes and its corresponding weight. So let's just do that. Uh, child node and weight in. So this is going to go, so we're going to start at A, and then we're going to, the child node will be B, and the weight will be 10. So we have to go check every uh, edge and child node and the weight for each one. So that's just that. And here's the big part. If the weight plus uh, the shortest distance at the min node, if that is less the shortest distance at the child node, uh, we're going to relax uh, the shortest distance at the child node. So uh, shortest distance at child node will be equal. I'm just going to copy and paste this. And that's basically that. So um, if you don't understand, I'm just going to do it real quick. So. Uh, we're going to start at A, uh, is 0 plus 10 less than infinity? Yes. Uh, is 0 plus 3 less than infinity? Yes. Uh, okay, we're going to find the next lowest node. That one's done. Uh, we go C, C uh, to E, th 3 plus 2. So the shortest distance at C is 3, and the weight from C to E is 2. So we add 3 plus 2. Uh, that's less than infinity. That is 5. 3 plus 4, less than 10, 7. And that is basically Dijkstra. Uh, one more thing we have to do here. We have to set the predecessor of the child node to equal the current min node. And this is just so we can find the path. We don't just want to know the distance from the start, the shortest distance from the start node to the end node. We want to know how it got there. And we need to get the child or the predecessor to do that. And that is basically it. Uh, we're in a while loop while true, so we got to make sure we don't stay in that. Unseen node, pop the min node. Okay. And let's just print uh, the shortest distances. So we got B7, D9, A0, E5. Let's just see if that's true. Uh, I did this, 3, 11, uh, 7, 2, that's 9, uh, that was this, yeah, so, uh, 7, 9, 3, 5, 7, 9, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, yeah, uh, that's work, so, one more thing, let's just check the, uh, predecessors, and that works. I don't know. I didn't check that one, but let's assume that that worked as well. So uh, that's basically it. Now that's the hard part. Uh, now we just have to write the path out, and that shouldn't be too hard. Okay, let's get rid of this. Okay, now we're just gonna okay uh, current node. So we're gonna run through uh, the path backwards and then write down each step we take. So current node is gonna equal the goal while current node does not equal start. I'm going to type it. 
So this is just going to keep running until we get to the star. Uh, but there is a possibility that uh, because we're dealing with a directed graph, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, a graph can or a node can reach every node. So uh, we'll do a try and catch. Or try accept. I don't know what language I'm working in. Uh, try accept, but I'll, I'll get to that later. Uh, so we're going to do path dot insert. We're going to insert the zeroth point, and then we're going to put in the current node. Am I getting an error? Oh, yeah, whatever. Okay, and now we got to set the current node to be equal to its predecessor. So if you start at Let's go. So we start at D. The predecessor is B, I think. We'll switch the current node to B. And we'll find its predecessor, which is C, I believe, and so on. And we'll write it on the path each time we do that. And this should give us the path. Uh, I think I'm done here. So uh, I think it's a key error. Uh, print path not reachable. And then just break out of this while loop because we don't need to keep continuing. Okay, now we just got to print it out. Um, uh, if so we're checking if it's infinity, that means it wasn't reached. So we're checking if it's not. And then we'll print, I don't know, shortest distance is okay. And print, uh, what am I doing? Um, and the path is that makes sense, right? I don't know. Let's see. Can convert int string implicitly. to add uh, path done. So we gotta add the, the starter one because it doesn't include that. A C B D F is nine, sorry. And like I said, let's try a couple other ones. E shortest path is A C E. I think that's right. And let's try E to A. Path not reachable. And there's no way they're all going this way. Yep, so the path is unreachable, just making sure. Okay, so that is, uh, I think that's the right way of doing it. Uh, uh, if you see any problem with it, uh, leave a comment or else people will do it the wrong way. So make sure you correct me, but correct me politely. And uh, I think that's all I'm going to do right now.